Just the mention of Kingston Mines brings a knowing smile to the face of many a Chicago, and the popular Northside Music venue has been showcasing the best of the blues in the city since 1968. We'd have Eric Clapton and Mick Jagger. You know, the Stones would come in, Belushi would come in, Akron. Um, we've had so many people over the years uh, come in here and go up on stage and play with the bands and, you know, have a great time. But now, even as they ready themselves to at least partially reopen, Kingston Mines is in trouble, deep trouble. Business, already slowing even before the pandemic, came to a grinding halt in March. During normal times, two bands would be playing here in separate rooms, a staff of 50, depending on the venue for their livelihoods. With no revenue to pay for the bills that have continued to pile up, owners Donna and Lisa Pellegrino have resorted to GoFundMe for their very survival. It has been tremendous and thanks to everyone's generosity we have a new hot water heater on the way. The onus is on us and we've lost so many blues clubs in Chicago and we can't afford to lose more. Their story is not dissimilar from other music venues around the city, most of which remain closed. Opening at 25 percent capacity would cost more than it would bring in, according to Subterranean's owner Robert Gomez, who also represents the Chicago Independent Venue League, an association calling on Congress to pass the Save Our Stages Act. Uh, just to cover our expenses while being shuttered. That would be the lifeline we need. So we wouldn't profit, we would just simply be able to get through this. As for Kingston Mines, they still don't have a band booked and a lot of work remains to be done, but they do hope to reopen over the Labor Day. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.